So, what we're desiring is God's love to flow through into the soul. But can you see why I'm talking also about praying for God's truth? Because this conduit that establishes the connection between you and God can't be established without truth. Without you being in a state of truth in comparison to God. Which is not the same as me saying you being in a state of truth in comparison with yourself. Or with the world around you even. The world around us is not in a state of truth, is it? If it was, would we even be having to sit here no. listening to these things? Of course we wouldn't. We'd already be in it, right? We would already all be at one with God. We'd be right. <coughs> Does the physical body feel it as well, or is it only the spirit? Initially, it's hard for the physical body to feel the inflow of divine life, but as the feelings intensify, the feelings that change inside of the soul cause major changes in both the spirit and material bodies. So, yes. The spirit and physical bodies will definitely feel the changes that are going on inside of the soul. Remember that this is a soul to soul connection. So we're not talking about anything physical here. We're not talking about any spirit body mechanism, metaphysical either. We're talking about the real you, which is your emotions, feelings, passions and delights. That's the area of you that is the most powerful. And that is the area that connects with God. And that makes sense when you think about it, doesn't it? God has all of these feelings. The dominant one being love. They are all emotional, are they not? Yeah. How do you feel when you love another? Isn't it, doesn't it take up a lot of your life? <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. What are you? It's a, yeah, what, uh, I can feel a lot of negative feelings about love there. <laughs> if there's negative feelings about love, it's not love. It's something else. Trust me. Alright? Alright, so love is a beautiful, passionate, desirous thing, is it not? Okay. That's why everybody wants it, don't they? Because of that. Now, love is an emotion, so therefore I am going to have to be emotional if I am going to want to experience love completely. But what we often do is we say, yeah, yeah, love, yeah, that's great. I'm happy to be emotional when I'm experiencing love. But I'm not happy to be emotional when I'm experiencing pain or jealousy or anger or any of these other things. I'm not happy to be emotional then. Or the biggest one that usually we're not happy with is grief. If you have read many books about emotional work, I don't know how many of you have read books about emotional work, but there's some very, very good ones around nowadays. Um, there's a man, John Bradshaw, have any of you heard of him? He made one called Homecoming. Very good book. And he mentions that grief is the healing emotion. Grief is the healing emotion. If you are not prepared to feel your grief, you will never heal. Mm. 